Hi. Today we're going to be talking about probability, fractions, and spinners. Our math message is this. There are five red and five blue blocks in a bag. What are the chances of picking a red block? Chances of picking a red block. Think about how many red blocks there are, how many total blocks are all together. Our chances would be 5 tenths or half or 50-50 chance. Okay, what about a blue block? Same thing, right? We have five blue blocks. So again, it would be five tenths or a 50-50 chance. What about a green block? That would be zero out of 10 or impossible. Okay, so um, for vocabulary today, we have fair spinner, and basically that is a spinner that has an equal chance of landing on any part of the circle of a spinner. And then some words that you are going to be very familiar with would be equal chance, equally likely, more likely, or less likely. Okay, those are some words that you're going to hear and you are going to need to be able to use. So in this lesson, you're going to be looking at several different kinds of spinners and trying to determine the probability of landing on certain colors and things like that. So you will notice that this picture, for example, I have four different spinners and the chances of me landing on a blue, for example, in those top two uh, spinners would be different in each one of those scenarios because in the first spinner, I have one blue out of eight spaces there. So my chances of landing on a blue in this spinner would be one eighth blue. But if we look at the spinner to the right of that, I have one out of two or one half of a chance that I would land on blue. So do I have an equal chance of landing on blue with both spinners? Yes, because there's not, in that first spinner, there's not um, another color that has more spaces taken by that color than blue. Each color on that spinner has its own space, and it's only one space. So each of those colors, there is an equal chance of landing on that particular color, just like the spinner on the right with the red and the blue, there's a 50-50 chance, there's an equal chance of me landing on blue or red with that particular spinner. Let's take a look at the bottom two spinners. Do we have any colors in the first one that would be more likely than another color? I know, if you look carefully, all of those colors are different, and so all of those colors, there would be an equal chance of landing on any one of those colors, whether I picked green or blue. 
So if we look at this uh, spinner right here, again, I have three equal spaces on that spinner, even though I have different colors, there's an equal chance of me landing on yellow versus landing on blue or green. So let's put that away. So let's take a look at this spinner here. If I were going to ask you what are the chances that I land on an even number? What would you say? We look at the even numbers would be two, four, six, and eight. So there are four even numbers, and there are a total of eight spaces. So my chance of landing on an even number would be two eighths, or if I divide that by two, that is equal to one fourth, okay, the, of the time that I would land on an even number. What if I asked you about landing on an odd number? Are my chances the same? The chances of me landing on an odd number, again, that would be one, three, five, or seven. So again, that's four numbers out of eight that I would land on an odd number. And actually I wrote the wrong fraction the last time, didn't I? So that would have been four eighths, one, two, three, four, out of eight, that I would land on an odd number, okay? What are the chances that I would land on green? The chances of landing on green would be one out of eight because there's only one green triangle on that spinner. Okay, hopefully you're starting to get the hang of that. So let's take a look at a different spinner. If I get this to cooperate, there we go. Okay, now this spinner is a little bit different, isn't it? Let's look very carefully. Do we have an equal chance of landing on each of the colors that are on there? Hopefully you said no. Okay, because if you look at the yellow, there's only one triangle. So I would be less likely to land on yellow which color would I be more likely to land on? Hopefully you said red because there are more red triangles than there are any other color on that particular spinner. So if we counted all of the triangles starting with blue, there are a total of 12 triangles so that would be our denominator. And if I asked you what are the chances or what fraction of the time would I land on blue, I would have three chances out of 12 to land on blue because there are three blue triangles. If I asked you the chances of landing on red, you would say 5 out of 12 or 5 twelfths. Yellow would be 1 twelfth and green would be 3 twelfths. So, which color would we land on most likely? My bet would be red, because there's more of those. Okay, 
All right, so with that spinner, we could ask lots of questions. Um, I've already asked several. But we could talk about, well, what if I spin the spinner 20 times? What are my chances of landing on red? Well, you're going to do some of those kinds of things in class um, where you're going to be dropping a die or you're going to be spinning a spinner and you're going to be keeping tally marks of how many times you land on certain colors or numbers. So hopefully um, that makes sense to you. You are familiar with the terms that we talked about on the previous screen. To, so to summarize what we've done today with this particular lesson, we went over some terminology like the more likely or less likely, those kinds of things. We calculated and we problem solved um, fractions using different spinners. And that's pretty much all there is to this lesson. So if you have any questions, write them down, bring them to class, and I will see you later. Thank you.